disappointing game when you're leading for most of it to the very end. As you can imagine, there's some disappointment about that. Um, but there's no reason to hang our, our, our head low for anything. Uh, we had a chance to win a game, a significant game. And uh, our locker room is more disappointed in, in us not finishing the game. Uh, I thought defensively we played really well. I thought offensively we, we had some good moments but struggled at times and couldn't put anything together in the second half. Uh, special teams played solid. Um, uh, we missed a field goal. That was the one thing that we missed in terms of a special teams issue. But uh, the body of work of that, of that game, we had, uh, we had our chances. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, we'll get back to working on the things that are going to help us finish games better. Uh, we've got to have better performance on the offensive side. And I'm sure we'll continue to grow and, and mature with that, with, with the new quarterback and everything. So. Uh, there's definitely some encouraging signs that this team is better than people think. So hopefully the people have saw that today. Um, and we'll keep moving forward. That's all we're going to do. You know, we're going to have to learn from this loss, get ready for Minnesota, and, and move forward. I think so. You know, defensively, we're, they were taking a lot of snaps in the second half. And we weren't engineering enough offensive drives to, to give them the rest or to get any points because we didn't score any points in the second half. So we have some things that we need to definitely work on and, and improve. And, and that locker room knows that right now. You know, they, they had chances and obviously didn't, didn't go in our, our favor. Carl, in the first half, it seemed like you know, Lewis made some plays with his feet and was, was good at getting out there. Did the Texas a and take that away in the second half? Or was it kind of you guys going away from it offensively? Kind of what, what neutralized him as a runner? It was just that we, we wanted to do more things and just we still did those things. And I think what they ended up doing is giving them the, the handoff more than the keep. You know, I think that's what most teams, if you're, if you're running that type of RPO system, it's going to, you know, they think the quarterback's the one that's hurting you. So they want to make sure they guard the, the edges better and, and then you have to hand it off. So that's kind of the system how RPOs work. Are you disappointed with some of those drives in the first half in hindsight that's what it would we had opportunities, you know, and I know you guys would do a great job of whatever conjuring up the way you see it. And we had opportunities in the first and second half, and we didn't we didn't do what we should have done. You know, we didn't do well enough offensively, defensively. That I felt they played their butts off. Um, very proud of that, and you know, we just got to get better. You know, there's no excuses. We just got to get better. We're not, we're not where we need to be right now. And I, you know me. You guys know me well enough. I don't make excuses, right? So I'm not making any excuses to you guys. We got to get better. And for us to be the team that we need to be, we, we must get better, you know, in a hurry. The, uh, the fourth and one of the five in the first half, the decision to go for it as opposed to kicking the goal and maybe go two. I'll do it again. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, when I was a play caller, I know I'm not calling plays right now, but I encourage that. I want us to, you know, we're going to be aggressive. We're going we're gonna to be a, the type of program everybody's going to be excited about when it's, when it's all said and done. And, but part of it is, is that they have to understand our mindset as a coaching staff. We want to be aggressive. We want to be aggressive, particularly in games like this where you need touchdowns more than field goals. You know, I've learned that lesson in the NFL so much. You know, your field goals when you're playing against a really good team don't, don't amount to anything because you need touchdowns to win. And we needed touchdowns. And we knew that in this game we needed touchdowns. So that was an opportunity that, you know, I'll take, I'll probably do that a lot. You'll see it. If we're down that deep and it's fourth and one, I have a lot of confidence this offense can get it. On A&M's final two drives, do you think the defense got a little worn out from being out there for too long, or what happened? On the no, ground? I thought it was great. Every, shoot, their, their best receiver was a running back today. I mean, they were great coverage. We, we had great coverage most of the day. So, I mean, they run, I made a couple nice plays, and that was a difference in the game. So uh, I think they're just as tired as we were. So I don't think it's, a, it's an issue about being tired. I, they executed a little better than what we did. For the two quarterback sneak calls, is it indicative of your thinking that you could overpower them up front? Say that again? Were the two quarterback sneak calls down there indicative of your thinking that you could I'm not going to second guess that. You know, we, that's what we, we, we got yardage on the first one. And we felt confident, you know, Darren, may, it's, that's OK. That's what we're going to have. It's going to happen. We're going to make a mistake, and we're going to scrutinize this loss because of, you know, those two calls. And I just told you that I'm going to do that again in fourth and one. 
You guys know that. You're gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna see it again. It may not be the same call, but you gotta understand, that's our attitude. We're gonna be aggressive. So I don't wanna scrutinize that as being the difference in the game. It really wasn't. There was a number of plays that could have been the difference in the game. And I, and I know you guys would try to use whatever way you, you deem it to be, but men, ladies, we lost a really tough game where we should have had a great chance to win. That's really the bottom line. That's the way that I expressed it with this team. And I don't want to look at it any differently than that. We got a lot to fix, a lot in every area. We do. And I'll be the first to tell you what that is, okay? But there's no excuses. <laughs> we just got to, we got to perform better to win those games, yes. Carl, I mean, you said you have a lot to fix, and you said that you know you're going to scrutinize everything. But correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like you're coming out here pretty optimistic after this game. Is, is that damn right? right? I'm optimistic. I mean, I think everybody thought that we wouldn't even be close to this team. There's only one people. Maybe there might be. I don't know. Maybe Brian. I don't know because Brian had us winning four games this year. But a lot of you guys, I, t I told you all along, we're, we're a better team than you think. I told you that, and I still believe that. And we still got a lot to fix, but we, we, stood, we stood with, in a, we were in a game for 95% of it today. Unfortunately, we didn't win it. And that's what we got to learn from. And that's how you guys have to look at this. And we're getting better, and we will, and we'll work. We'll get there, I promise you, okay? Thank you.